Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is video editorial for the problem guess the kth zero. Okay, uh, the problem is taken from div 3 round 719. The problem was F1 and this is an interactive problem. So the problem statement is you are given uh, an integers. Uh, the integers is not given as input by the way. Only n is given and also the k that represents the kth integer which we need to find and also n represents number of integer in the array this is a binary array so each integer is either 0 or 1 and since we don't know the input we don't know the actual array we we can ask queries of the form question mark lr so it would return an integer uh, that would be the number of ones in the range l to r if you know number of ones in the range l to r you know number of zeros in the range l to r as well right you can ask no more than 20 queries and you have to answer the position of k at 0 and can be i guess up to 2 into 10 to the power 5 correct me if i'm wrong but it is around that number okay so this is the problem statement so the question is how we'll solve this problem well we'll apply binary search if you if you guys know me uh, for a long time you already know that binary search are uh, uh, all of the algorithms or data structure like HLD, Centroid Decomposition, Dijkstra, DFS, BFS, whatever I have learned, the one of my best algorithm that till this date is still this. So let's go ahead and see what is the solution and how we can solve this problem. Suppose this is the input 10110011. Uh, we actually don't know the array. Uh, we'll only use the query to determine the third position, k is equals to 3. So we'll only use the queries to determine the third position of uh of the zero of course right so how we'll do that see we'll apply binary search l is equals to one r is equals to nine basically l is equals to one r is equals to n okay so mid would be of course five so we would make a uh, make a query from one to five and we'll try to find out how many zeros are there in the range one to mid we'll try to do uh mid actually represent the uh, solution we'll try to find out whether the current mid is solution or not so what we'll do uh, we'll make a query to 1 through 5. Okay, the result would be, of course, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, number of 1s in this range is 3. So, number of 0 would be, of course, mid minus 3, that is 2. So, till this position, number of number of zeros are 2. K is equals to 3. Of course, uh, our result can't be in the range 1 through mid. Basically, L through mid, right? So, you will update L is equals to L plus 1. Sorry, L is equals to mid plus 1. So, mid gets updated, uh, L gets updated. Now we'll go for another another iteration. So mid this time is seven, and here you can see the pink part has uh, reduced. Pink part represents our search area. Initially the search area was from one to n. Now our search area is only from six to nine. This is only to represent. Okay, so six through nine. This is the search area now. Uh, so what we'll do, of course, we'll make another query from one to seven this time. Okay, so from one to seven how many ones are there there are four ones okay so how many zeros are there seven minus four that is three so and since we are searching for three so r would be uh, first of all result would be updated to mid we know that seven is ne or not actually a answer but but the thing is the result would be either seven or less than that in our current active area so result either would be six sorry result either would be mid or l through mid any integer so we will update it to mid for now and then reduce the range the next range would be l to mid minus one okay because we know uh till mid in the previous iteration let me just go ahead go back we know that at mid we have already found up three zeros k zeros basically so result would either be mid or before that okay as you can see in this case it is six not seven so we know the the range mid plus one to r is actually useless so in that case what we would do we would update r okay so r would be mid minus one and we have already updated the result to be seven now we will search in the new newly updated uh, range which is only six to six again i would make a uh, make a query a query call to one to six okay the output would come out one to six how many ones are there there are three ones so number of zeros would be six minus three that is three again k is equals to three i mean result is equals to three so what we will do uh update the result to six which is again mid okay now since update result is again updated 
uh, so what you will do you will update r this time again so r become mid minus one now this becomes the range of course l is not less than equals to r you would stop here right because this becomes your invalid range and here you can see we have successfully find out the answer so this is how you solve this problem if i show you my implementation this is the solution okay this this is the solution the binary search part l is equals to 1 r is equals to n each time i'm calculating mid then making a query from 1 to mid okay after that i'm reading the result and then calculating number of zeros now here x represents number of zeros if number of zero is less than k of course l would be updated l is equals to mid plus one otherwise r would be updated and result would be updated finally when l is not equals to r basically you are out of the valid search area you will stop and you can simply print the result as simple as that t in this case is only one so we only have to read do nothing because this is f1 in f2 there are more than one test cases okay for the f1 problem we only have one test case so yeah this was solution of this problem if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops keep going thank you